Welcome to Butterick Rose TV. We are here at Borough Briggs with Rose make a long trip north to face Elgin City. The Black and White's one beat in League 2 so far this season, but Borough Rose aren't in bad form themselves. Two wins and a draw from their last three league games. Callum Elliott names a number of changes due to some injuries, with a trialist accompanying Kerry Young at the back, and Aaron Arnott, Dean Watson and Sean Murphy all coming into the team. And that will be Aaron Arnott to kick off the proceedings for Burnery Groves. Murray switches it for Draper. Climbing in the front lines to aim at. And comes across with pace for Russell Dingwall. That one's caught by Tom Ritchie, Kel Gervin. It's a lot of power, a lot of pace on that cross. Dingwall does well to get low to get the connection. For Connolly. Miller has Higginbottom ahead of him. As well to use his body to get to that one. Almost to Murphy. Barrett sizes this one up. And it's over the bar from Bradley Barrett. Saw the chance for a shooting off a tune, he went for it. And he just couldn't hit the target. And he's probably been Rose's greatest spark so far. <laughs> no foul given there against Golding on the trialist. Comes to Booth. That effort trundles. Mayo gets the block in. Still with Elgin, Gallagher sized it up and it's headed by the post acrobatically by the trialist. According to the earlier error, I thought he could check it out of play. Golding wins it back. And Gallagher's shot looked like it was going to beat Tom Ritchie, if not for the diving header. Here come Elgin, Golding. And for Dingwall, on his right foot, pushed out by Ritchie. Is it going to be forced in? No, it won't. Kyle Gervin was the man there. Look at the get to the rebound. A combination of Young and Ritchie prevent Elgin from taking the lead. Two big chances with five minutes to go in the break for Elgin, and they haven't taken them. Ben Scarborough to send it in. Kerry Young looking to go for it, pushed out by Glavin. Higgin bottom there. Takes it on his right foot, hits Bradley Barrett last, I think. And Alex Shepard calls an end to the first half. It was a scrappy opening few minutes. Took a while to get going, but as it got closer to half time, the intensity was turned up. And Russell Dingwall gets the football back in the way here at Borough Briggs. Young. Now Arnott. Mela gives it back to Arnana, in comes the cross, Cammy Ross waiting in the middle and he gets his head to it, can't get the precision he was looking for to get it on target but Cammy Ross instantly involved after taking to the field to replace Dean Watson and that's the sort of impact Cammy will be looking for Here's Arna takes a nick off of Leslie, now Bradley Barrett on the ball gives it to Scarborough this is that one into the back post with Callum Higginbottom's waiting! And what a volley from Callum Higginbottom! Fantastic finish for the experienced forward on the volley. Ben Scarborough looks that one into the back post. Callum Higginbottom volleys into the ground, makes it all the more difficult for Aidan Glavin and Elgin Nett. And Borough Rose lead up in Borough Briggs. Garvin. Leslie up against Scarborough. Show some trickery. Sends the cross in early. And it's fallen here. And finds Elgin's equaliser in the goal that could keep their unbeaten streak intact. And also stood of this one as well, perhaps a bit more of an unknown quantity. It's going to be Dingwall to take low. Russell Dingwall, 94 minutes on the clock. A 
Brian Hills in the field. And Elgin, not only kept the unbeaten streak alive, but they've got the three points at the best. Feel it for a big. And the referee goes against the fans at Borough Briggs. One of their goals took the lead in the second half. For a brilliant volley from Cammy Ross. Elgin stuck late on for Ellie McDonald, but they weren't done there. A Russell Dingwall free kick at the very end of the game gives Elgin City all three points and keeps the unbeaten streak intact here in William Hill League 2. Full time here at Borough Briggs, Elgin City 2, Borough Eagles 1. Calm, a tough one today, especially so late in the game, the way things transpired. How did you see the performance today? I thought, like, obviously we were quite comfortable within the game and then I think like, certain decisions have possibly went against us and then, you know, at, at the end, like the goal that we concede, they get a fortunate break and then it's not a foul at the edge of the box, like Skip clearly wins the ball and then it's taken about four deflections, went in the back of the net. Um, like, we should see the game out, there's no getting away for that, but... You know, sometimes there's like sometimes like decisions which go against you, uh, which don't help you. It was two wins in a row going into this game. Is it just a case of trying to pick that momentum back up next weekend? Ah, of course, I like we're missing like key players. Like we're missing like, players that any other team in this league would massively miss. Like we're actively looking to bring in like the right types of players. Like, if we can't do it, then we won't bring boys in just for the sake of bringing players in. But like. It's like we're missing key players, like, and it's sometimes it, it does hurt you. Um, but like the boys today, like they gave everything, like the support, like coming up, like, like were like phenomenal. Um, we're obviously dis like massively disappointed, um, and like we we'll remember the feeling at the end of this game, and when they come to us, we will be ready. Cheers, Carl. Thank you.